Hey guys, how you doing? I've uh, been meaning, been meaning to do this for a while. Have not got around to it. Of course, it is D-Runk's top five covers. I don't know why D-Runk hates us so much. Perhaps it's because he's too legit to quit, but he clearly hates us because to force somebody to go through their comic collection of, I don't care if you get hundreds, 1,000, 4,000, 10,000, to force somebody to go through their comic collection and choose five, five covers that are their favorites. That's fucking mean, man. That's really fucking mean. So, I don't know if these are my five favorite. I don't know if that disqualifies me. These are probably probably my five favorite that I could find on short notice that I really tend to like and come back to over and over though at any given time a different five might replace these so first up and I tried I tried I tried I really tried to do something different for each of the five but the first two fall into the same category I will not be held responsible for that I will not it just is this is the way Star Wars Knights of the Republic number 48 this character on the cover is Demigol freaking the art I gotta show you back here. I gotta take it out of Mylar. The Mylar just kills the beauty of this comic. The Mylar is reflective, but the comic itself looks reflective without having any foil. It is just gorgeous artwork by Brian Ching, whom I don't know very well. I am just floored by this every time I see it. I'm blown away by this. One of the absolute greatest pieces of comic book art I've ever seen. I just love it. Second one is also a Star Wars comic. This is, uh, I believe this is Star Wars 40. This is a comic exposure exclusive virgin variant. Comic exposure. From when I dealt with them two years ago sucked as an online retailer put stuff up for sale way ahead of time and then gave you no contact no ig no twitter no response to emails when you're like where's my comic where's my comic where's my comic three four five months go by i always ended up getting the comic but it was a hassle dealing with them this is by adi granov and i got him to sign it i it's hard to explain the reason i love this so much because there was a time, and we haven't seen much of it in visual. We have seen in comic, but not in like um, animated or, or in live action. Post the original trilogy, but before the later trilogy, you know, before Force Awakens, so between Return of the Jedi and Force Awak Awakens, where she did not follow Luke. She did not follow Luke to become a Jedi Master. Instead, she became a fighter pilot and then a general in the resistance. And General Organa was just important, as important and just as powerful as Luke in her own way um, by, be, by going through this and becoming part of the resistance and a general in the resistance, General Organa, rather than sitting away on some island and becoming a Jedi Master. So... I think Adi Granov captures that essence so beautifully here. This is a powerful woman. It's not necessarily a sexualized woman. I don't mean to say it's not sexy, but there's a difference between being sexy and being sexualized. Um, the attributes here are a tough, hard as nails, elegant and regal fighter pilot that makes her sexy. That's not the same as sexualizing her. And I, I hope people understand that difference. Um, just a gorgeous, 
gorgeous cover. One of my favorites. I told you I was trying, 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 trying not to put two comics in the same category, but to have five in separate categories. Already we have two Star Wars. With issue three, we have two Adi Granovs. Spider-Man, ooh, I took the backing board out of this. Miles Morales, Spider-Man, Miles Morales number one, or Spider-Man number one, but featuring the first solo series featuring my Miles Morales. Uh, Adi Grant of Hip Hop Variant, obviously, or maybe not obviously, uh, an homage to Nas's album, The Illmatic, which was his, I believe, first release, dropped in Brooklyn, probably on a mixtape in like 96, and then a year later, Everywhere in 97, huge, huge hit, huge hip hop artist, um, just blew the doors off hip hop for quite a few years. I'm actually a bigger fan of the Stillmatic, which was a few years later. Um, still meaning kind of like I'm still here. Uh, and I was made aware of that album because at the time I was teaching in the South Bronx and all, it's all I saw from the bootleg CD dealers on the street and all my students were talking about and talk and referencing. So just as a matter of interest, I got into Nas and started listening to his music because it was all around the community that I was a part of. Um, and it really was fantastic hip hop. Um, but again, I still like the Stillmatic a little bit better than the Illmatic. It's just me, it's just me. Um, they're both great albums, but that is just, an amazing album cover, D Runk. Josh Middleton, Batgirl twenty three. I've wanted this one for the longest time. Jorge Molina, 1 in 50 variant to Miss Marvel number two. Super hard to find. Obviously a lot of issues of number one were released and I have the 1 in 25 costume variant. The reason I'm looking up there is because it's on the wall right behind this computer. Signed by G. Will Wilson and Jamie McKelvey did the costume design. I have the 1 in 50 color variant by Art Adams. I do not have that signed by anybody. Then I've got the 1 in 100 sketch variant by Art Adams. I've got that signed by Art Adams and G. Willow Wilson. Uh, you're going to get a 1 in 100 variant for a number one that's not super uncommon. But when you have a new character, and this is before diversity characters, and I hate calling them diversity characters, but that's what they refer to in those categories. Um, before they took off Miles, Silk, Kamala, Amadeus, before they took off, not many retailers were ordering a 1 in 50 variant for an issue 2 of a brand new comic. Right? And they had to order issue two before issue one ever sold and before people ever knew what issue one was about. So it was kind of a blind order. So those retailers that did order enough 50 copies were able to get this one. And this, to me, the scarf blowing up like that, which, you know, her hair's not blowing, so it's kind of weird, but we'll let that go. The hand on the hip, the blowing bubble gum, like I'm still a teenager, but I'm on top of New Jersey. I'm tough and I'm confident, but I'm also an insecure teenager. It is perfectly, perfectly encapsulated in this cover by Jorge Molina. Absolutely wonderful. I, I love this so much. So there you have it. d -Runk, congratulations. Thank you for doing the contest. I'm sorry my entry is so late. I've been thinking about it for a while, but I haven't gotten to it. Knights of the Republic 48, Star Wars 40, Comic Exposure Virgin Variant by Adi Granov, 
Knights of the Republic was by Brian Ching. Spider-Man Miles Morales, number one, by Adi Granov. Hip-Hop Variant, featuring or homage to Nas's Illmatic. Joshua Middleton, Batgirl 23, and Miss Marvel, issue two, Jorge Molina 150 Variant. Those are my top five covers. Thank you very much. Take care.